road to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening to Caring Partner. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. This week, we look at growing our businesses through franchising. Don't go away. watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My guest is Mr. Dominic Kosen. He's the managing director of Kulakona uh, Restaurants Brand. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Nice place you have here. <laughs> Thank you and welcome. Thank you. Tell me about Kulakona, the idea. You know, even the name. I like the name. Let's start there. Kulakona is, um, say is a modern African uh, franchise restaurant. Now, ideally, what it is, there are three levels of restaurant. You can either fi have the fine dining restaurants, the what they call the creme de la creme, the top of the range. Yeah. You can have the fast food restaurant. The fast food restaurant has no frills or thrills. You basically go across the counter, you pick what you want, and off you go. But then there's the intermediate group, what you call the bistro. Now, the bistro is a, is a style of a restaurant whereby you sit down, you're served very quickly, and off you go. So that's basically what Kulakona is all about. What about the name? Tell me how you came up about with the, the name Kulakona. The name Kulakona comes from first Kula, which is it. It's a Swahili word. And then Kona is just around the corner. You know how people, when, when people are talking casual, they always say, ah, oh, just meet me around the corner. So we, we thought that combination would do very well. So how old is Kulakona restaurants? When did the idea begin? Kulakona is four and a half years old. Actually, we'll be celebrating our fifth year by June this year. And um, it's a very, very Kenyan concept by Kenyans, whereby we all sat down as a team and decided, hey, let's come up with something that is very Kenyan. I'll tell you something, Anne, about uh, the franchise business. Huh? If you go out of the country, if you go to your USA, you go to Europe, businesses are adopting a different way of doing things, mm -hmm. whereby people are getting together and then enjoy the economies of scale and the synergies to be able to come up. Because if you run your own small little business, you, you, you'll keep on revolving around that. And chances of going up are always very slim because of the challenges that you find in business. When you say we, who is we? Um, was it a group of friends? Was it your idea with your <laughs> wife and <laughs> family? Okay, it's not only the family, but you also have one or, I mean, and a cousin. So ideally what we did, we just got in together and decided, hey, hang on, let's get the ideas together. I have the expertise, having been in the industry for the last 15 years, and we decided we can be able to come up with a success story from Kenya. As you know, Kenyans are, are very entrepreneurial, and as somebody said, we also work very smart. So at the end of the day is that if we can be able to put all those ideas together, we should be able, or well, we can be able to come up with a very noble idea that we can even export out of this country. You talked about being 15 years in the industry. What industry? I'm actually a hotelier by profession. Okay. Um, my degree is in restaurant and hospitality management. I've worked in the like of Serena, Holiday Inn, I uh, was the managing director of Kengeles, and then we took over Kulakona as, uh, as our own business. So really, in all aspects of the industry, I, I would say I have a rough idea of, uh, of what goes on there. Excellent. So tell me, coming, making that step to go on your own, yes. tell me about that story. Yeah, it's always a very, very difficult decision to make, and very difficult decision. One, because of our comfort zones. We don't want to try something else. We're always feeling like, hey, I'm better off with a salary. At the end of the day, I know I'm able to pay my utilities, my bills, and what have you. So one, other, one thing that happened is, is it's a tough decision one has to make. And you need to consult before you make that decision. However, if you're a business person, you have to prepare to take the risk. And I, and I woke up one day and said, hey, hang on. I mean, we have what it takes. And even if it, I don't have, I'll be able to access. And I decided... Let me get a team together. Let's weather the storm. Yeah. We would not want to get into the waters just to wet our feet, but to make waves. And this is exactly what you're in to do. Was it hard finding the location, getting the staff, you know, that whole registration process? How, 
how did you go about it? The, the starting is always difficult. And the reason why we've actually come up with the franchise concept, or what they call the Kula Corner franchise concept, is to ensure that other entrepreneurs don't have to necessarily to go through the, through the troubles that we went through. Because believe you me, starting off something like this, you go through quite some, some number of challenges. However, when you get together, you realize that there's always that um, uh, confidence. When you, are, you have the numbers, and we are saying, fine, you own the business, mm -hmm. but then you have the big brother watching over you. And that's very, very important in business. One of the things that I'll tell you, one of the other motivation, Anne, that I forgot to mention earlier on, is that a lot of businesses fail within the second year of, 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 of being in existence. Now, why do they fail? They fail because of poor management. It's not even money. Money, to be honest with you, is not a factor. You can, you can access money. Money is available. But if you, if you don't know what to do with the money, then you're in trouble. If you think today of, say, getting a professional accountant or a consultant, it might cost you 100,000 shillings a month. A very good marketer, another 100,000 shillings a month. Say, a good executive chef will cost you the same amount. So at the end of the day, say in a month, You'll be paying roughly between three and four hundred thousand shillings just to access this expertise. But as a package, we are saying you can be able to access that at maybe fifty thousand shillings. It's highly subsidized because is the dynamics of being in a group. Yes. You know, it's always easier like that. Excellent. We need to take a short break now. When we return, we'll hear more about Kula Corner. Thank you, Anne. Don't go away. Thank you. Every member is a good member. It's a place where every member feels at home. We have been empowered to uplift our families and nurture the next generation of leaders. with the members to help make many people's lives better. Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. My guest is Mr. Dominic Kosen. He's the managing director of Kulakona Restaurants Brand. That's Welcome right. back. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Tell me about, you know, c coming into selling this product to the market. What has been the response? The response has been fantastic. In fact, we are struggling to cope with the numbers now. As you mentioned, and rightly so, people are moving into brands. You go to McDonald's, your Pizza Hut, your TGI Fridays, etc., etc. Now, one thing about Kenyans is that Kenyans are very patriotic. And with that, we are now giving Kenyans an opportunity. Basically, this is actually what you've been waiting for, to own a piece of your own country, whereby we'll come and facilitate you owning your own Kula Kona. One of the biggest failures of restaurants has always been the management side of it. We are working with 15 strategic suppliers who will be able to come in and assist you. Ordinarily, these are people you've never been able to access to because either they are too big, they don't have really time for a small player or a small operator, but because of the group synergies, we've been able to bring all these players together. We've opened Kulakona Kakamega, very good location, very convenient, and this is within Nakumat Mall. Okay. And tell you, you can imagine the impact you'll have to that entrepreneur in Kakamega. It's a success story. And the beauty about all these things, Anne, is that we are getting people from that locality to own it. We'll come in and, 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 and reinforce in terms of uh, you know, the management concept. But they own it. It's their restaurant. It's not something imposed on them because they understand the business in their neighborhood. And this is the beauty. And also, in terms of economics, you engage the local farmer, you engage the local distributor. So it's, it's, it's a really good concept. And then, obviously, yeah. run the business professionally. So tell me, the restaurant's brands um, brings what on the table? Because I'm, I'm thinking, here I am. I want, maybe I want to open a restaurant <laughs> <laughs> in my locality. Yes, you do. Um, and I approach you. Yes. What is the relationship? How, how does the relationship work? No, we have a relationship. First and foremost, we are the franchisor. We are the people who own the franchise. Okay. 
and you'll, you'll be the franchisee, as in you'll buy the franchise off from us. Now, what does that entail? It's your business at the end of the day. We don't want to own it. It's your business. But then we know what you lack in terms of management skills. Now, this is what we bring to make your business successful. And, and, and that is very, very important. Now, what we're saying, we're using this model unit as a success story. And this is a very successful unit. And we are saying, come to Nairobi, see what you are running. And then be able to replicate that concept in your neighborhood. So, um, maybe I'm trying to understand it further. Yes. So I come to you, yes. and um, franchising means that my restaurant is called Kulakona. Yes. What else do I get from you? Is there a fee that I need to pay? Okay, the first and foremost, you need to pay a small fee called the franchise fee. Okay. Now, that will give you access to the brand name. Okay. Will give you the manual. Okay. The step, the step, the startup uh, uh, um, uh, concept yes. in terms of support, in terms of training, in terms of recruitment, in terms of various other supports that that uh, that goes along with the business. So we'll be able to help you do that. On top of that, for any business to be successful, what does it need? You need to have the passion, and we have a system, a psychometric system, whereby we'll be able to measure the passion in you. Then after that. We will be able to give now to continue supporting you every month. We never leave you alone. You never be on your own at any one given time. Five years from now, ten years from now. Uh, ten years from now, we will be the biggest brand in East Africa. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> indeed, and we are very confident. And we know it's going to happen. We're not guessing. We're not trying. It, ha it shall happen. With everybody's support, we all join together, and we make it work. Dominic, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you for coming to share your story with us. Thank it's been you. fantastic being in the show. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Have a great week and God bless. Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.